Greetings. I am Siman Supana from ICTA School. I, it's a pleasure for me to come and share with you my experience and my journey with Jesus Christ. I still remember when I was young, I was from Malaysia and I was in a Methodist school and my parents gave me the opportunity to choose and to select. And I still remember in my high school days when I went to a church and there was an altar call and the Holy Spirit was just asking me to come along. And I remember I walking in. And you know what? When the Holy Spirit speaks to you, it was an amazing, amazing feeling. I just was overwhelmed and I felt my tears just coming out. And I wish and I pray that all of you will have the same opportunity to experience Him just as I have. So after that, I went to college and I had an opportunity to join an Indonesian Christian fellowship. The pastor and his wife shared with me their walk and through their examples, I learned how it is to walk the Christian walk to love, care, and it's through the songs, the hymns, the Bible study, and the fellowship of food and laughter that have brought me closer to him. And this is also where I met my husband, Supano Adianto. He is truly my spiritual leader, and he has guided me in my life and in our family, in our spiritual walk. He, Christ, has actually uh, taken me step by step very gently. I remember I had my baptism when I was in Atlanta, Georgia. And then after that, to um, get married and then move back here to Jakarta. I still remember when I first read the Bible, it was difficult. I didn't understand. But I prayed about it. Lord, you know, help me. And guess what? My husband was telling me, read the Bible. But guess what? The more he asked me, the more rebellious I get, okay? And you know what? He just submitted me to the Lord and he started praying for me. Oh my goodness, the Lord's prayer, a husband's prayer is so powerful. And before I know it, my heart just softened and I just wanted to read the Bible because the Lord is working in my heart. And from there, when I read the Bible, then the word starts to be alive. It becomes applicable, it becomes functional, it becomes part of our daily life. And the verse that I hold close is in Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord and lean not in your own understanding. And in my journey, all these years, I've been holding fast to this verse. Trusting the Lord, believing in Him, and not lean on my own understanding. Because as you know, in the beginning, I, did, I never thought of going into education, but the Lord knows me, that knows me better than I know myself. And so this is where lean not on my own understanding and trust in Him because the Lord knows me better and He knows why I'm here on earth here. And all I have to do is just trust Him and lean on Him and believe Him and He will guide my step daily. And I believe that if you trust in the Lord, that He will guide you daily, just as He has guided me.
I was uh, telling the story about how my education started. And I still remember through the education, the um, Lord had been guiding me and letting me experience Him. And I remember in 1998, when we still have our kindergarten, the riot happened. And my husband and I prayed, went on our knees and asked God, what do you want us to do? Do you want us to remain here in Jakarta, in Indonesia? The Lord is faithful. And he was saying in Psalms 91, he says, 10,000, you know, 1,000 will fall on your left, 10,000 will fall on your right, but you will not be harmed. And we hold on to that promise, that promise that God had given to us through the verse. And we stayed in Indonesia because we believe that, you know, Lord have a purpose for us here in Indonesia. And then after the riot came, you know, there was an opportunity for us to start a school. We do not know what is happening around, but we just focus our eyes upon our Lord. And He had the one who started the school, Ikta School. Ikta School belongs to Him. The very word belongs to Him because He is the one that named the school. It is through a conversation, three times, the Lord works in trees, three times He say, Ikta School, Ikta School, and Ikta School. We know that is God's provision. It's nothing to do with me at all. It's an amazing journey. And Ikta's name is an acronym for Jesus Christ, Son of God, Savior. So we dedicate the school, Ikta School, to our Lord Jesus Christ. So when he gave me the name, I asked him, okay, Lord, now you have to tell me how to run the school. I have no idea, but this is your school. And every day, you know, we just come to him and ask him, teach us, guide us. And the Lord was through prayers had revealed that from Ictus School, there will be praise and worship leaders coming out. There will be marketplace leaders coming out. And I remember Pastor uh, Stephen Real from the US came and he prayed for the children here. In the midst of his prayer, you know what he said? He felt that overwhelming of the Holy Spirit just came through him. And his goosebumps just came and the word of knowledge came to him. And the Lord was saying to him, there will be future Billy Grahams, future leaders, ministers coming up from Ictus. And when I hear that, I just praise the Lord. So now with that, I even have to go on my knees more to just submit to school, the children, the families, the teachers, the leadership to our Lord Jesus Christ. For He is the one that owns the school and He is the one that guides the school.